Hey, welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, I'm showing off a new asset available on our website. And this asset is a dynamic ladder object. Now here I have my 2D platformer project that I've been working on. And climbing ladders is a major mechanic in this platformer. Now as you can see, I have a number of different ladders in my project and they're all of varying length. This asset allows you to create ladders of variable size just by scaling the object itself. Now you can find this asset on our website at www.infogamerhub.com store. Once you purchase and download this Unity package, all you have to do is import it into Unity by going to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package. You'll then select the file and press Open. Once the import window appears, all you have to do is click Import. After the package is finished importing, you'll then be able to create new ladders by going up to the game object drop down menu then selecting info gamer and ladder now all you have to do is position and rotate this ladder to the top of where you want this ladder to start once you have the ladder positioned you'll then want to select the scaling tool after which you can scale the ladder in the y direction and as you scale it rather than stretching the model the model will grow adding new rungs to the ladder and so let me test out this ladder that I just created with my ladder climb mechanic. So here we have my player. I can do some wall jumps and get to the ladder. And then I can start climbing the ladder, get to the top of my level. Now to customize the ladder itself, all you have to do is modify the ladder segment model that comes with the Unity package. Now this model is an FBX, and so all you have to do is import it into any modeling program like Blender or Maya, after which you can add additional vertices and detail. Then when you're finished customizing the ladder segment, just save over the file. The other way that you can customize this ladder asset is with the material. For this, you'll want to open up the ladder segment prefab and select the ladder segment model that is a child. From here, all you have to do is set the material that is applied to the mesh renderer component. And that's pretty much everything. So make sure that you go check out this asset because it'll save you a whole bunch of time in your level design. Now, once again, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and let us know what you think of this asset in the comments below. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.